So, breeding is a very, very important part of Power World, but you are going to need a lot of stuff to get it set up in order for you to breed your pals. So, what I've done is I've set up a base way, like, far away from my initial base. I've got it right in the top left corner up at Icewind Island. And I've got it just set up so that I can produce the resources I need in order to breed pals. So the moment I got up here and started setting up the base, I placed down some pal beds so that my pals can sleep. I've got berry plantations not only for the breeding, but also so that my pals can eat. I've got some hot springs so they can recover their sanity. I've got a cooler to stop things like basically running out of time, expiring, going off, whatever you want to call it. I've got a chest to store some stuff to make it easier to take stuff to and from then we have a ranch which is where we're going to produce most of the ingredients needed to craft cake because cake is needed to breed your pals then we have the breeding farm and we have an incubator so if we jump off we've got a feed box over there as well for the berries to go in and you're going to need a cooking pot it cannot be a campfire because the cooking pot is able to make cake so what you need to do is you need to get a male and female pal. So if we go into our pal box, I've got Bushy and I've got Pen King. The reason I have these is somebody left a comment saying if you breed these two, you will get Anubis. And Anubis is really, really good for mining. So I've got a female Pen King. I have a male Bushy. You can tell by the top right corner over to the right hand side of their name. The symbol going up to the right is male. The symbol going down is female. So if I put those two in the base... And then if we lift them up one by one and we chuck them into the breeding farm. So now Bushy's in there. If we go and grab Pen King, if he stops trying to water everything. Dude, I'd, I'd need you to... I forgot if you're the female or the male. But I need you to come over here anyway. So we need to chuck these in and they are going to start breeding. If we come over, we look at this little tab. You've got one male, one female in there, but there's not enough cake. Love is blossoming between the two pals, but we need to craft cake. And I recommend trying to get a pal that's got high kindling for this because cake takes a very, very, very long time to craft. So if we do that, you need flour, red berries, milk, egg, and honey. What I'm going to do, you can see one cake is a 2,000 workload. So I'm going to start that. And then I actually have a Jorman Tide Ignis. So chuck that out and that is going to start cooking the cake. This is level four kindling. And look at how slow that goes. Even if I hold to work, it still goes really, really slow. And that's the max level kindling you can get. So now that that cake is done, what we're going to do is we are going to acquire it. And we are going to come over to this box here, which is built with the breeding farm. And we are going to put the cake in there. So now the pals are going to eat it. So while those two are breeding, you can see the uh, the bar going around, the orange bar coming around to say that they are breeding successfully. What we're going to do now is go through all of the ingredients you are going to need in order to actually make a cake. What I'm going to do is quickly set another one up to uh, start production because I remember the uh, ingredients we need anyway. So starting off, you need flour. In order to get flour, you need a wheat plantation. So that is going to be there. You're going to need wheat seeds, wood, and stone to put one down. Then you'll need planting, you'll need watering, and you'll need gathering and transporting to get that up and running. And then once you've got that, you need to put the wheat into a crusher, and that turns it into flour. Then your second one is red berries. That's simple. A berry plantation. There are pals that can drop them in the ranch and stuff. You can also just go out and you can just pick them up. For the berry plantation, you're going to need berry seeds, wood, and stone. Then the other three ingredients all come from pals. So the very first one is eggs. If we go to the pal deck and we have a look at chickpea. Once you put chickpea into a ranch, they are going to do their grazing and they will lay eggs. And if we have a look at the habitat screen, you can see that chickpeas spawn pretty much everywhere, even right at the start of the game. So the moment you enter at the plateau beginnings, you can find chickpeas there. Next up, for milk, we have mozzarella. When you assign this pal to a ranch, they are going to produce milk. And the habitat for this one, you can find them over to the west of the area where the desolate church is. Right in this section here during the day, you'll find mozzarellas, capture them, slap them in a ranch. They are going to produce milk. And then the final one is you are going to need honey, which again is another pal. And this pal is a bee guard. You're going to again put them in the ranch. They will drop honey. And then if we have a look at the habitat for the bee guard, they are found up here over to the uh, really far north from where you start the game at the plateau of beginnings. 
For some reason, the habitat screen only shows that, but I have found some around this section here. This is where I actually got my bee guard from. And I will say, if you're going to capture a bee guard, be very careful because they do come in swarms. They are pretty strong and they're all going to attack you at the same time. But once you've captured a bee guard, put it in your ranch. It's going to produce honey. And that is all the ingredients you need to make cake. So if we grab that cake out of there, let's put our pal away. Come back over and we're going to put the cake in there. And now it doesn't say that there's not enough cake. So what we're going to do is wait for this breeding process to finish. Something that I noticed as well, I would probably do this just to be safe. Well, not safe, it saves a little bit of time. I'm going to put a feed box down here as well as having my one over there with the berry plantations. Because when the pals get hungry, they will leave the breeding farm and stop breeding while they go and eat. So I'd, I'd say it's beneficial to put a little feed box outside their ranch so they don't have to run really, really far away. Just to go and grab some food. My feed box is all the way over here. And I've left it out in the open just so the pals don't get stuck. But I'm going to grab a little bunch, a little handful of berries. We'll go and put those in this feed box so that when it comes to feed time, when they get hungry from all their breeding, they don't need to run miles and waste loads of time. So we are very, very nearly done. There we go. Not enough cake. It looks as though they are... Oh, so we got a huge rocky egg. It was one cake per breed and they're going to start breeding again providing you still have cake so they will leave and look uh, bushy's gone to that feed box instead that saves a load of hassle and what we're going to do is grab this huge rocky egg we're going to come over to our egg incubator we're going to set it and we have one hour even though it seems a little cold so you can set up heaters set up a little building so that you can make this speed up or you can just sit around and wait and that is everything you need to know about breeding. There's loads and loads of different combinations available. You just have to make sure you've got one male, one female in there to breed. Make sure they've got cake available to them. They're going to do the business. And they're going to produce new eggs so that you can hatch them and get yourself some new pals. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about the breeding in Pal World in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.